Yeah, basically we're recording the Dropsy soundtrack today. Upright bass, saxophone, piano, violin, two drummers, a couple guitars. Right there is more, there's more going on uh, instrumentation, with instrumentation than like 99% of the games that you're gonna, that you're gonna hear. The first step in the process was to write video game music. A bunch of synths and drum machines and stuff that sounds very video gamey, but that was just a demo. And the really key part of the process is that then he takes it the next step and gets a live band together and reinterprets all of that music. I've watched Chris just as a composer um, evolve over the last 10 years, just, um, just amazingly. It's not like anything I've ever heard before. And there's a lot of space for the music to be interesting rather than something that just sort of distracts you so you're not like weirded out by the silence in the game. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems Good, good landscape accompaniment. I can see it. I can see it blending really nicely with uh, with journeys. I mean, I do play a bit of video games. I'm, I am uh, a bit of a video game tragic, but I can't really think of too many others that have this kind of style of music in there. person who is receiving this stuff, like the, at, the, at the end, you know, the end product, whether it's an album or a game, I want, I want to respect that person's time and their attention. And what I, what I want to do is like give them something that feels sensitive. Um, and I feel like we have we put enough space and enough thought into this process um, that I, I feel like we're, we've been successful with that.